Hey everyone, it's John here. Thanks for watching the videos. It's been a while since we've done a what sold video for you, so we're going to do a bunch of things that we have sold. And here they are. Alright, so we sell a lot of baseballs, and depending what league they come from really depends how much you can get for them. These are college balls, and these are kind of mid-range. The little league balls we get a little less for, and the major league balls we can get a little more for. And we pick these up for 50 cents or a dollar a piece, never really more than a dollar a piece unless they're the major league balls and they're really clean, because we sell these with free shipping. So, higher end baseball gloves we like. This is the kind of glove that's like 100 plus or minus retail. And, you know, we pick that up for 5 or $6 when we see it, maybe up to up to 10 maybe if we know it's a good one. And that sold for 40 This bat is one that came in a lot with a bunch of other bats, a lower end one. We normally may not pick this one up on its own unless it was a dollar or two, but I know this one came in a big lot. Softballs, these are kind of professional, um, professional adult league balls. And as you can see, we'll be able to get $4 a piece for those. And these a little less. These may not have been in quite as good condition. But again, we pick these up for 50 cents or a dollar a piece. Wait till we got a bunch and put them together in lots. Again, part of a huge lot of blank tapes that we bought a year or so ago. And we're just kind of finishing through on those. These are not not some of the higher end ones. We got $23.50 for those. And $42 you can see for quite a load. This is kind of an assortment of the lower end ones so we didn't get a whole heck of a lot of money for them but we didn't have much money into them either we made hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the on that lot of tapes you know we do a lot of hats they have to be in really nice condition very clean with with a few exceptions but really not many they just have to be clean have some nice content uh, these were makita hats you know 35 dollars for three of them we picked these up for a dollar or two a piece at the most so here's something that we look for a lot is good, high quality outdoor clothing, brand name. Again, has to be in excellent condition. I know we picked this up for just a few dollars, sold it for 35. Harley Davidson stuff is always good. I don't remember what we paid for these, but I'm sure I would pay at least 20 for something like this. And, and I don't think I did. I'm, I'm thinking I remember this was more like five or $10 for these. And those sold for 90. Again, Harley is always, always good for us sewn sports jerseys what you're looking for is these letters are sewn on not silk screened or or stamped or or printed this is all these logos and everything are actually sewn on patches and those can go you know 100 and more so we pick those up whenever we see them as well you can see this one sold for 40. this was just so funky i had to do it let me see if i can bring that in a little bit so you can see it it's a dollar bill hundred dollar bill motif jacket and it just couldn't pass that up it was so it was so funky looking so we got that and I don't think we paid very much for it now this is you know something you wouldn't really know about unless you were in like the outdoor field and mountaineering and this was like the very first time that base layer or underwear went high tech this is the first time they went away from the basic cotton waffle weave and the, and the wool underwear and this is like one of the first high tech ones this is probably from the 70s and we picked it up it was brand new you can see we I'm sure we paid a dollar or two for it and you can see we sold it for 45 again that's one of those kind of specific items if you knew what it was you'd get it if you you know if you didn't you'd just walk right by it but we happened to have been in that field, you know, in the outdoor field in, during that time, so we recognized it. Same thing with this. This is a polypropylene union suit, probably from the 1980s. I used to wear these a lot when we were doing the winter mountaineering and ice climbing and whatnot. So again, this is one that I bought in the 80s, and it's just been sitting in a closet ever since, because we used to go to the factory outlet and buy them up for, you know, three or five or eight bucks a piece, and, you know, we'd buy a dozen pieces, and this one just never got used. So I pulled it out, and there it is, $40. We do great with tarot, um, esoteric, anything like that. When we, when we see nice, clean sets, we pick them up. And this one sold for 
This is a brand new in the box sealed game. Didn't know anything about it, but I saw it sealed and we looked it up and we saw that they were selling really well. So we, we bought that for I think two or three dollars and sold it for $28.95. We've got a few DVDs coming up. Specific nonfiction, as you know, is what I look for. This is a sealed you know, DVD on barbecuing. And we sold that for $18.88. Again, these are 50 cents or a dollar a piece, almost never any more than that. This is sealed game wave game. And we sold these several times. So whenever we see those, we, we pick them up. This is sealed, sold for $24.95. Intraday trading against specific nonfiction. This one sold for $23.50. Well, this isn't nonfiction, but we don't do as much with the TV series as we used to because they're, they're just not selling as well as they used to. You can see we got only $21 for these for the four seasons. So we're not doing as much with those as we used to, but you can still sell them for a little bit. I would just suggest just doing the research like we do to see what they're selling for before you start loading up on these things. Specific nonfiction puppy culture. Um, something that you would just pass by if you weren't looking for things like that. And this is $24.95 and it was actually missing one disc. I think this set was probably more like 50 complete. Jazz instruction. Sometimes we'll see a pile of music books. And if you can put together a nice lot like this one, jazz and blues, violin, you know, piano doesn't do as well, but guitar, jazz, blues, things like that do a little better than just the piano courses. So we picked these up, I'm sure, for 50 cents a piece or so and, and just put a nice lot together and got $28.95. Sealed Barbie from Toy Story 3. I don't usually buy this kind of thing, but it was like $2. And I didn't even look it up. It was sealed. It was $2. So I bought it and turns out that they were selling really well. You can see we got $39.50 for it with free shipping. We buy these pet grooming tools and accessories, and we sold them several times. This is one of the better ones we've sold. You can see we are $125 for it with all the accessories. New old stock. This is for cleaning a distiller. And, you know, this is just what they sell for. So people will buy that new old stock, especially if it's a little cheaper than what they're used to paying for it right from the manufacturer or Amazon or whatever. So just check the prices, offer it for a little less and, and people buy this new old stock really well. Collectible knives, pick these three up for five dollars I think for the three of them. Sold them for 45. Nice little lot, nice quick sale. Mountaineering gear. Uh, the North Face is a great name. A lot of people know it for their clothing and, and stuff, but they do a lot of high-quality mountaineering gear, and that's just exactly what this is. It's, it's a bivy sack. If, you know, if you're sleeping outside, you just use this instead of a tent. It's waterproof. It's Gore-Tex. And we picked that up for $5 and sold it for $72. Polon the original Polonis safety heater. This is, I think, the third or fourth one of these I've sold. I used to have one of these, actually, and use it, and they're really, really good. And we picked this one up for five and sold it for 50. We have another one right now that I haven't listed yet. And I'm, as soon as I get that listed, I'm sure it will sell. Nice little collectible from the, 19, the 1893 World's Fair. This is a little stamp box. I'm only showing the, the back of it because this is where the vice appears to have been owned by the vice president of the World's Fair. Because that's what it says right there, Vice President World's Fair, Thomas B. Bryan. The other side is like a little just a, a little design on the top of like a domed little box it's kind of nice we picked that up for a dollar somewhere and sold it for 75. whenever we see name brand workout gear we take a look at it i'd never even seen these before and but when i saw them i said okay well what, what is that and we looked them up and and evidently they sell them pretty well so we got 45 dollars for those antique Miniature hand. This is an actual photograph that's been hand tinted. Charles Sawyer, um, turn of the century kind of contemporary of Wallace Nutting, and maybe turn of the century, maybe 1920s, 30s, and very famous New England, well-known New England photographer. And we picked this up, I think, for a couple dollars at a yard sale. Sold it for 78.50. This is only like four, maybe. Four five inches three four by five inches it's a miniature it's pretty small but they they came in all sizes but the minis sell really well 
This is a little lure that came out of a $35 tackle box lot that we sold a couple hundred dollars worth of items out of. And this was, yeah, this you can see sold for $25. So whenever I can find a tackle box that's got some decent looking stuff in it, I'll just buy the whole box and, and sort it out, bring the stuff that's not so great to the flea market and, and sell it back and then take the stuff out that I need because I, I fish and then sell the sell the good ones on eBay. $25 for that one. Here are some vintage, probably 1980s or 1990s Telemark boots. They look a lot different these days, that's for sure. But we picked these up because there's some old school people out there that still like to use this type of thing. We got those for probably 2 to $5 somewhere and, and sold them for 60 little souvenir spoon uh, not even sterling but it was a kind of a scarce one we really couldn't find any that looked like that so we put it out there we're not doing too much in this ten dollar price range anymore just because that's the kind of stuff we're bringing to the flea market now but we made an exception with that one here's something we like a lot is ephemera we're always looking for these old pieces of advertising or brochures and things like that here's one from 1935 from atlantic city and we got 13.95 for that didn't i wasn't able to find any online you'll notice we two bids so we so we put this at auction because we couldn't find any comps so we just put it at auction and and uh, to see what we could get we didn't get very much for it but still for something you pick up for a dollar or less and it's sitting in the bottom of a box uh, you know, 1935 is not bad. New old stock. This is a tufting tool for rug crafting. Uh, doing latch hook pillows and whatnot. New in the box. And whenever we, I mean, I don't know what the heck it was when I saw it. But it was new in the box. So I looked it up before we bought it. And it was selling really well. So we picked it up probably for a couple dollars. And uh, sold it for $34.95. Good return on investment on that one. Little sealed puzzles. We didn't know anything about these when we saw them, but they're sealed. Again, we looked for sealed media. We were searching basically through DVDs and cassettes at that point, and these things just happened to be on the same shelf. And we picked these three up for, I think, 50 cents a piece and sold a lot for 50. We've sold these Springbok tiny jigsaw puzzles before, and we have more of them listed now, too. So one of the things we look for a lot is or very ornate serving pieces this is not even a sterling piece it's just a silver plate ornate tomato server and you can go online there's great resources to find out you know what the patterns are and we we you know we did the research i'm pretty sure that asco is is on the back but the mo the pattern is typically not so you go online and find out we found this moselle grape and leaf and we sold it for 85 dollars we paid a dollar for it so that's something to keep an eye out for is this really ornate serving pieces the more ornate the better and every now and then you'll find a sterling one too picked up this maritime nautical signal code set flag now you'll see i put in the description that there's these are sewn cloth flags this isn't again these are all different this like this red square is sewn onto this white background these are all one two three four five these are all different pieces sewn together, not just printed. So that's what made these, because if you go online, you can find a set like this for $18 or $19, but it's not a sewn cloth flag, so they're just, you know, printed nylon or whatever. So we got, I picked that up for $3 at one of my favorite thrift stores up in New Hampshire, and we sold it for $99. Here's the last item we have here. Again, we're talking about ephemera. We always have our eyes open especially for railroad stuff. And again, I got this at a dollar, for a dollar at my local flea market. It's a 1902 Great Northern Railway brochure. It's, it's full color inside, maybe eight or 10 pages. And I couldn't find any examples. I saw that Northern Railway stuff was selling really well. So we, this is another item that we put at auction. And the reason we did that is because we couldn't find one. And, and look what happened. We got to $153 with it. Anyway, that's all I've got on this what sold video really do appreciate you watching please do subscribe uh, hit the little bell give us a like give us a comment or two let us know what you like what you don't like if you'd like to see more or less of something and uh, we'll see you on the next video again thanks for your time